one. Ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, meine Damen und Herren, señores y señoras, here we are once again. This is the quarterfinal for Hasu Ops against Trimaster. So we got the German Protoss player Hasu Ops here spawning. As the yellow Protoss at the 9 o'clock, we got Trimaster. As the green, oh, I forgot about the colors. As the green Terran player here at the 12 o'clock. So, um, it is a PVT. They are spawning on close positions. Lost Temple. And of course, Lost Temple close positions is one of the shortest rush distances uh, from one base entrance from a natural. So, here we go. Here's this entrance to the natural. And boom, like 10 seconds later, you're already at the natural from your opponent. And most of the time, I'm casting games on the European service, and because of the fact that the Team Liquid Open the number 15 is held on the US service, um, there are of course more players from the US, from Canada, from Mexico, or from the American continent in general participating than on the U European service. So, um, for those of you who are not so familiar with the TriMaster, um, Tri is... Um, doing a really good job. He was uh, currently, uh, I forgot it, let me check up on it one again. once again. He's number 31 ranked player on the US servers, uh, having 3,900 points nearly in the Masters League, so he's absolutely a good player. Of course, most of you are already familiar uh, with Hasu Ops here um, by uh, Mouse Sports. So it is Hasu Ops against Trimester. And uh, we saw Hasu Ops um, late there was casting a couple of games with him, and there he was really impressing me with his PvP and with PvZ. Uh, unfortunately, I was not able to cast so many games of him um, playing PvT lately, so I'm not really sure um, how good his PvT actually is. But uh, lately, more and more Terran players were having Protoss, uh, were having problems with Protoss and not the other way around. So I'm really, really curious uh, where this is going. Of course, both players have not only the potential to win uh, this um, series, this games, they also have the potential to make it very, very far into the remaining tournaments. Because yes, those are only the quarterfinals. The quarterfinals will be uh, will be played as a best of three. This is the first game. That's why the score is. Still zero uh, zero so um, and the round of 16 is a best of three um, the round of eight will and by the way the round of 16 is not yet the quarterfinal it's just the round of 16 the round of eight is the quarterfinal so I was talking a little bit of uh, BS there all the time so um, yes the round of 16 will be played as a best of three the round of eight which is the quarterfinal will be played as a best of three same goes for the semifinal only the round of 10 uh, the will be played as a best of five. So I'm really, really um, looking forward to cast a couple of remaining games, of course, from the semi-finals on and um, the uh, grand finals, um, the Team Liquid stuff, we will do the casting, but I will be able to cast some round of 16 and some games of the quarterfinals. Uh, when I was casting the last Team Liquid Open, I think Thor Lane was the one who won this, um, I was really able to uh, cast a couple of great games, for example, just rem remember, uh, some of you still remember this game, Nurture against the Thor Zane, and I was able to cast this, it was so awesome, especially this TVZ on Shakura's Plateau, but let's focus a little bit more on this game right now, we see um, Trimaster uh, going for a Blue Flame Hellion drop, so he's got the Blue Flame, uh, or not even the Blue Flame Hellion drop, maybe he wants, just wants to go in here with this Blue Flame Hellions at the front directly, to be honest, I don't think this will be too successful, but he is going for a starport. But on the other end, Hasu Ops going for the Protoss 111 Stargate build, having this first Phoenix being chrono boosted out already. And as soon as you got two or three Phoenixes, you just can lift up all those Hellions because of the fact that those Hellions are light armored units. Uh, the Phoenix do double damage against those uh, Hellions and just take them out so, 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 so fast. And of course, if you take can take 
out the Hellions, you will also be able to take out the uh, Medivac Rider Race. So I, to be honest, I doubt that this um, Blue Flame Hellion attack here by uh, Trimaster will be so successful. So now the Blue Flame Hellion just finished. Um, he's got uh, two Hellions here at the starboard. Where's the Medivac? The Medivac should be finished any second now. And now the Medivac is finished. He should upload it uh, right away. Meanwhile, Hasu Ops is now even going for the robotics facility. Uh, one Phoenix is out, two Phoenix, three Phoenix out in total. So now those Phoenixes uh, will miss the Hellion here pretty soon, but he's not yet moving out with this Hellion. And the longer he waits, the better the position for uh, Hasu Ops will be. And now looks like um, Trimaster is moving out. Did he spot those Hellions? Uh, those Phoenixes at least now he did. Uh, picking up the mule right away. Good job there by Hasu Ops. And here we see the Hellion still doing nothing at the uh, center of the map. Hasu Ops now spotted uh, those Hellions here at the Zelnaga Watchtower. And he's immediately returning with all of his Phoenixes here. The, uh, the Hellions trying to take out the probe. And first Hellion is getting lifted up. And there we saw how fast those uh, units die. And uh, what is Trimester doing right now? He's going for a Raven, not for a Viking. This is an interesting choice. Maybe he wants to provide some auto turrets, some point defense drones later on. Uh, he's going for an armory right away and continuing with the uh, Phoenix. Meanwhile, more Hellions, those two remaining Hellions, actually made it in the base here of Hasuops, trying to kill more damage, uh, kill more probes, but in the end, they did not do too much damage. Hasu Ops lost only about uh, five probes here. Meanwhile, he was able to take out uh, a couple of mules, a couple of SCVs, and even um, two Hellions here, for example. Uh, one Hellion here at the Zelnaga Watchtower. So uh, Trimester only got this one Hellion left here at the 6 o'clock main base. And now he's continuing. Um, and to do some damage with the Phoenix, of course, Trimaster having some Marines here, but because of the fact that those Phoenixes are quite a durable unit, uh, they can take quite some damage, having 120 HP and a 60 Schultz. He did some damage there, and now actually, uh, Hasuops was the one being behind three harvesters, now he's the one being ahead three harvesters, so uh, let's take, just take a look at the units lost, and there we see, in the end, this was the better end for Hasuops, but to be honest, I thought that Trimaster did more damage, and... Tukataka, tukataka, dude, dude, here we go. This is what you call an all in. An all in is when this attack has to work or this game is pretty much over. Uh, if people can recover from an all in, it should not be called an all in. He's sending all of his SCVs. There's the SCV train. He's sending some uh, Marines in the mix as well. Having uh, one Raven with enough energy for one point defense drone and the Thor. Uh, nice. Uh, force field but with the Thor being dropped directly on the force field of course won't be too effective. Now Hasu Ops will need to use his own um, probes in the mix as well. Um, Trimaster having a lot of Marines. Now the probes moving out and um, what about this Colossus? This Colossus just finished one second before the Robo went down and now um, this Colossus can wreak havoc and all those uh, SCVs and all those Marines and uh, now this uh, Colossus is going down as well. And with this Colossus being able to pop out of this Robo Facility just a half a second before the Robo Facility went down, this completely turned the tide because now the Raven is dead, the Point Defense Drone is dead and everything else is dead as well. But um, Hasu Ops lost quite a lot of units in the mix uh, uh, in this attack by Trimaster as well. And because of the fact that Trimaster uh, was having this orbital command with the mules and uh, still having some marines, he's not too, too much behind. But the big difference, the really big difference, is this one single Colossus now moving up the ramp. And still he's got uh, two sentries, three zealots, and one stalker lift. And looks like uh, Hasu Ops was able to barely hold this attack off nearly costing him all of his probes. He's down to eight probes right now. But uh, this Marines, uh, those Marines uh, Trimasters having ten Marines and this one Viking is simply not enough. Now the Viking will go down. Hasuops just needs to play it safe, even putting up a Guardian Shield. There we have another force field. And um, this should be it. And I would expect a GG here any second now. So very interesting uh, First game here, House Ops taking game number one off of Trimester. Congratulations to him. And, um.
he just needs to win one more game to advance to the quarterfinals. On the other hand, Trimaster needs to win two more games. And once again, Trimaster did quite a good job at... Um, Still doing some damage, even though um, going for this very, very fast Phoenixes is the best possible way to deal with those Blue Flame Hellions. But the Blue Flame Hellions of Trimaster still did some damage there. And um, the decision to go with this all in attack was okay, but just imagine how. What a different ending this game would have had if this one single Colossus here would have not popped out. So, um, House Ops a little bit lucky here, or on the other hand, Trimaster a little bit unlucky, I'm not sure uh, which word, uh, if I would call it lucky or for the one person or unlucky for the other person, but it was definitely, definitely entertaining enough. Um, so, like I said, House Ops up 1-0 and game t 2 could, should come up here any minute now. Oh, I got a small update. Apparently, a uh, game two of um, House of Ops against Trimaster was not yet available, um, but I got another game, uh, another two games, meanwhile, to cast. It is uh, the member for the FX Open, Lowly, the, a very nice player and one of my f personal favorite uh, Zerg players to cast uh, from Belarus, and he is playing against Forever in the round of 16 games, and I got a couple of games and oh just one second ago I just received game number two uh, for Hasselops against Trimaster so um, after so I will be able to cast game two of Hasselops against Trimaster and I have no idea actually if uh, this will be um, if we will see a game number two or a, a, a or even a game number three. I, I know that we will see a game number two, but I'm not sure if it will be a 2-0 or a 2-1 in favor of uh, any other players. So, um, I have no idea uh, who wins this. I cannot spoil any results because I basically don't know. But as soon as this series of Hustle Ops against Trimaster is over, I will um, continue to cast with this uh, series of Lowly against Forever. So we will continue to see a PVT and after that we will see a ZVT and ZVT is really Lowly's specialty. So um, give me just one or two more minutes so I can set up the game, the next game and then we can get going with the game number two of Hasso Ops against Trimaster. 